what's going on guys doing a quick tutorial because one of my subs asked for some help so I'm more than happy to help him right how to render software videos what you're doing with your capture software um, obviously you've still already got your capture software if you're asking for help so we will show you how to render it and it's all free so there's no worries about that I downloaded virtual Adobe. I always use this it's really good software it installs so you can run it as administrator so you go straight to your virtual dub at the bottom click on run right do your tab so you can see what you're doing right go back to downloads i use that to record with it's real good quality so it's a m a r e c t v 231 right the reason why i like this is because yeah it's a japanese software but it's all put into english and the pitch quality is really really good guys and your videos just come up in here so you should put them straight across right now I'll put this up to full screen for you right all you need to do is find a bit you want to film right we'll just do that there look and we'll go here and we'll kill him and then we'll just do it to like there just for purposes of video right the reason why I did that there this little tab here is start of record basically the point where you want to start recording and that there is the point where you want to stop it recording once you've done that all you need to do then is go to video filters add deinstallate first guys don't forget that because without that you're screwed it'll look really grainy brightness and contrast 90% of my games I drop it down by one and I drop it up uh, lift it up by one even which is quite be careful with that it makes a big difference right add another filter so that's two filters you got so far you need to go down to see s h s v adjust right which is hue saturation and value don't do hue or value just do saturation most games i to put it to about 120 123 but for ghost i need to at about 114 115 at the most next tab you need to well filter you need to put in go right down to the bottom and you can see it says smoothnet now again guys these are all dependent on your games so it don't mean much but it can make quite a difference back into add another one you need to use sharpen I do it about seven I used to do it a lot higher but I've for ghosts just purposely for ghosts it actually makes all these edges look quite shit if it's too high up so that's why we do all that next one you need to do because most of your software record record it in 4.3 guys because it's better quality and then do this go to resize disable aspect ratio put this to 12 80 by 7 20 and you don't do anything else here that's all you need to do so remember it's disable aspect ratio 1280 by 720 and leave all this alone then click ok right so so far you have Dean Solace brightness and contrast hue and saturation and value smoothness sharpen and resize so that's fine so you got one two three four five six filters guys now the files are quite big because it saves it in AV or it uses AV does virtual dub which the files are really really big but it's important because when you come to compressing it if the better quality to start with it turns out being a lot better in end go back into videos now go to compression you could do to install Windows 7 Kodak pack it helps out a lot guys I've got quite a few Kodaks as you can see or codec I use MPEG4 codec which is DivX basically and click on that and then all you need to do guys is go to file save as and for you, you don't I'll show you something else in a minute as well basically just type in like snipe click save then you'll see this guys this is showing you a bar that's going up to render but I can abort it because I don't even really need this but won't yeah abort that once that's done that it'll come to a screen like this, this is why I've done it to show you, you see now the other thing we do before we look at the video at the end is I'll show you something else as well you can do 
if you go to here, file. Right, and then we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. Actually, go back out of it because I'm not that good with it. Right. For those of you that struggle with capture software as well, if you go back into your virtual dub, right, there's a new thing. Small one window because otherwise it'll look like a bag of crap. Put it up here. You got your file now, right? Well, you can capture your video, which is quite easy to do. So you click on capture video. I haven't got my device in it a minute, but you go into device. You pick your device there. Video settings. You can do your video source, which is like your composite and all that. What? And you can do your fields and things like that. And you can capture and edit your software. It's really, really good, guys, and it's free, so why not? Right, I'll leave the video here. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helped you out. You're a real good subscriber, so I don't mind helping Techno. So, they'll show you the video at end quality, which you already know, but just so it helps you out. So, I hope this has helped you, mate.